Hello everybody and welcome to ID Invaded or ID Invaded. They say ID in the show so I'll probably stick with ID but it might be ID. Who knows? Episodes 1 and 2 anime review. This will normally be out on a Sunday, my review, the day it comes out. But uh, Funimation was late and it was a double episode. If it was just one of those things, I probably could have done it. But because it was both, ran out of time. So yeah. But no, this, honestly, it, it's interesting but... The first couple of episodes, they're going to turn people off by just the fact they don't explain much. I mean, I was fine. I thought it was the way they slowly... Like, you sort of figured out what was going on as it was going. I liked it. It's definitely one of the more interesting things to, that I've watched recently. The uh, thing about interesting and could be good is it also could be bad. You know, it could go e either way. So far, though, I'm, think I'm looking positive at it. Personally, don't know what the overall consensus is. I don't really care. This is my opinion. Uh, yeah, I think it. I think it's looking good. So, in case you're new, we're gonna go through the episodes in a minute. I might try and go quite quick because there was two of them, and I don't want this video to last seven years. So, uh, yeah, we'll just go through them, you know, quite quickly. There's a lot to go through, though. I've got a lot of notes. So, um, yeah, should we just get on with that? Let's not dilly dally. Let's get on with it. Let's do this. So we wake up. We wake up? We'll keep that in. Our main character wakes up. We open up with the waking up of our main character. We later on... You know what? No, that's actually quite a bit later on. So we'll save that. Uh, but yeah, the guy is falling apart. His arm is like... His body is just like in the pieces and everything. Which is kind of weird. He can still control it though. So it's like he's apart, but he's connected as he said. So it's like... He's got like an ultra thin wire going past going through all his body, but to connect it so he can move it. Something like that. Puts himself back together. He's missing an elbow, though, which I'm not sure the relevance of that. I'm sure there is some, but whatever. Uh, the whole world is floating. There's, like, houses and whatever else floating about. It's a really weird world, what's going on. Uh, he starts parkouring with his arm to pull himself up. It's quite an interesting, you know, way he does it. It's like, it's like a grappling hook, but with his arm, if that makes any sense whatsoever. He's, he's a person, and so he connects, like like a jigsaw, get it, it's the name of the episode, like he jigsaws the, the house together to get to her. Uh, it's, a, it's a dead woman who's been stabbed in the chest, so um, yeah. He says her name is Ka Ka Kairu, Kairu, and despite the fact he's never known, he's like, I know that's Kairu, and I know who I am. I am Sakaido, the famous, really good detective guy. So I'm like, alright. And he knows he's got to solve her death. More on this later, but... It's it's kind of weird. I was like, is this is everything going to be linked to Kairu? But uh, it doesn't look like that is the case. It's something a bit different. Um, we zoom out basically while we're in. We zoom out on a sen essentially what they are like the support squad. They are looking on monitors. They are researching. They're like the cops, right? He's inside the virtual id world. Id well, I think they called it later on. Uh, yeah. So yeah, there's support squad there too. It's a locked room mystery. So he brings more pieces together and everything. Uh, while he's investigating inside, the sports squad's investigating outside. Um, what the world is, uh, I guess I better explain that. It's a world based on the intent to kill of the, per the killer they're after. So they like traced his killing intent and they made a world out of it. And at this point I was like, oh, it's going to be one of them like jargony shows which is fine I actually quite like jargony shows it, may, it means you have to pay more attention but um, yeah I was like okay that's what we're in for so it's going to be confusing for a while and boy was it but uh, yeah then while that's going on there's some girl in the she's like in the she's like a, they said she's like a rookie in the like she's in like the field team they do say her name a lot it's very important I haven't written it down so you know that's that's the first bad thing but she's there Sakaido encounters the people Five of the seven people he encounters are victims. The other two are, you know, missing per people. So wonder what's there. And then in the, they see a reflection because, like, he's in the room. They're analysing the room he's in to look for like reflections on the glass or anything that could help them in the real world. They see a reflection of John Walker. And at this point, I was like, who the hell is John Walker? We find out later on what he is. But uh, they just kind of drop you on this and be like, I don't know who that is. Am I supposed to? I don't have a clue who that is. That's the thing. They. They leave you in the dark a bit at the beginning, which is a bit of a turn-off, but it sort of gets explained by the end, so I guess it's good. 
The field team have headed out now. They confirmed some identities, all that other stuff. They've got some device that like measures your killing intent. So that seems handy, I guess. Sakaido shows the corpse to the other people and they are less than helpful. They're not particularly bothered. Uh, and he puts more pieces together, which uh, missing, they, they like uh, put like the map together basically, but the part missing, which spells, which makes a word, which is Takuya. And then the two field agents, there's like the old man and the little girl. Little girl, she's probably like 20. You know what I mean. Uh, they figured out from that where he is in the real world. I do like that, how like the virtual world is helping them figure out what's going on in the real world because the virtual world is like a memory world. I like the concept. It, I hope, I'm really hoping this is good. Um, their device goes off saying, oh, he's nearby. The girl wants to save the two people left and the older guy's like, I'll head in, you know, to do that. Uh, and then the id, the id world breaks apart some more. Uh, they find the injured person. This is the field team now. I hope you've watched the episodes because otherwise this is not going to make a lot of sense. Uh, they find an injured person and hear some drilling, like in the background. Sakaido realize, realizes that Keiru isn't missing any body parts where everyone else is, so he goes to her and figures out that the killer is hiding inside her body. So like he, he's broken apart as well, just like she is, but together they are one person, I guess. Uh, so yeah, he pops out, and, and then while that's going on, an eighth person shows up in the, you know, because all the people are victims, an eighth person shows up there. It's the girl from the field team. Oh no, that's not good. Then we end with her, you know, we see her bag. She's been kidnapped, I guess. That's less than good. Uh, yeah, that was the end of the first episode. Hell of a cliffhanger to end on. Uh, you know, the, I think the second episode for me I thought was better than the first. But um, you, you obviously need the first. So uh, let's just get into the second episode. I'm going to do them both in this video. Let's go. So episode two starts a bit further back. She's not been taken yet. Uh, they shot the drill guy who they thought was the killer. Turns out he was just one of the victims, who I guess was propped up with the drill. Uh, the killer was actually in the ambulance, and he was like the the victim they found. They put they sent to the ambulance. He was actually the killer. He hijacks the ambulance, kills all the doctors, you know, because he's a bad man. Uh, hits the the girl with the ambulance, so she, at pretty high speed. So really, she should be way more injured than she is. Uh, then he takes her underground into the sewers. Uh, inside Id, the baddie starts running, the killer, the bad guy, Sakaido gives chase, they see John Walker, all the people, they're all scared of him, uh, field guy then shouts at the chief, blames him for the girl being taken, Sakaido punches out John Walker very easily, that was a bit weird, don't really know what that's about, the girl wakes up, killer asks about the device, uh, and then we learn, also, also the killer's drilling holes in people's heads. I forgot to mention that. That's like his MO. Uh, and he's, he's, he he's got a hole in his own head that he drilled because he sees the world is like fractured or people are fractured, which is why they're all falling apart in the id world. Uh, Sakaido figured the killer sees the id world as ordinary because like he's like jumping all over the place. So he doesn't see it as fractured. He sees it as ordinary, which... Oh, man, it's... It, I, I, I swear I'm getting it. I, I, if it sounds like I'm tr being overly confusing, I'm just saying what happened in the episode. I'm not, I'm not making it any more confusing than it was. Uh, and then the version of the girl inside the id gets up and stares at the killer like, I'm going to get you, which was kind of weird. Don't really know what that means. I guess it's because... Oh, no, they do explain it. It's because she's talking to him in the real world, so he's got a different cognition... Of him. What was that cognition? Oh, it's Persona 5, isn't it? It's like that. There, I explained it easier. So she tells him what the device does. She telling the killer this is. Uh, and then she just jumps into the drill. <laughs> and that, I guess, alerts them somehow where she is. Uh, so yeah, then they get Sakaido out of that world and send him into another world uh, where he's got drills coming in. So he's now in her it well. You with me so far? Uh, and then she, he sees Keiru again hanging from the tree. There's a suicide note. And then they get crushed by a drill. And uh, But the thing is, on the drill, they saw the reflection of where she was and they deduce where she is in the real world from that. I really do like that aspect of the show. The whole virtual world helping the real world. 
but it's not as simple as that. It's like looking for little hints in the virtual world, like the reflections and that. I do like that. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. Um, she survived the drilling in the real world, but she has been drilled through the head. So um, that that's a thing. I hope she keeps her hair long or longer. Is all I'm gonna say. Um, Killer wanted someone to drill hole themselves, like she did. She jumped into it. That's what he wanted the whole time. The cops bust in. She's alive. Dude's arrested. Hey, happy days. The chief, or I guess the head of the department, I don't know what he is, tells Sakaido everything worked out. Sakaido in the real world is not... It seems like he's not like a super detective. He's a, like a criminal. Because basically he forgets everything when he dives in. Also, he fit, felt the death like properly. Keiru, he sees her as his dead daughter, Muku, with me. He gets taken away in handcuffs, so he's probably some sort of criminal. Like, so many mysteries they just opened up. Uh, then they talk about John Walker for a bit. He, like, created serial... Or five serial killers have had contact with John Walker. At first, they thought he might not be a man. He's just, like, a characteristic in the idwell of serial killers, because Keiru isn't a real person either they said like she she's just there if you're a killer it's like a mental thing given shape i i think i think i'm getting this right uh but no then they're like oh no john walker does exist he's a real person who's creating serial killers so you know by creating i mean like he's turning people into serial killers somehow is what they think so Kaido's in his cell and he's got photos on the wall of his daughter who is who is dead i think we can pretty much deduce i don't remember if they say it but we can deduce it uh so yeah i'm wondering what if he's after the person who killed his daughter and that might be somehow that all links together uh and then the, and then in his me dream memory he's like i should have stopped keiru from getting crushed by the drill because she wanted to die by suit by hanging you know and that's where the episode ended and i was like oh very pretty pretty wild ride this first two episodes were i hopefully can keep it up because i'm i'm really enjoying this i get that the jargony overly confusing stuff can turn people off but for me i you know i as you can tell I, I i got it in the end i got it as as it was going on i understood it more and more and that's i can't complain too much with that if this had just started with the first episode i probably wouldn't have liked it nearly as much but i think the first two episodes, they, them doing that, helped it a lot. That's what I think. Uh, very curious to see where it goes from here. Uh, I assume it's going to be a bunch of different cases every couple of weeks or whatever. And then we'll bring it all together to find out who John Walker is. And then we'll, he'll be the one that killed his daughter or something. Uh, yeah. Also, it's graphically quite nice to look at as well. Uh, I don't. I didn't really mention much about that. It looks quite nice, you know. Um yeah, I've, I've run out of things to say. I went through the episode. I said I was going to go quite quick. I didn't go quick at all. I, I had to go quite deep. But uh, that's just how it is, you know? But uh, anyway, thank you everybody for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe and stuff for more reviews. I'll be doing this show every Sunday. It'll be Sunday if Funimation isn't late. Sunday is when this one will be out normally. Uh, I will see you next week for another episode of this one. Take care, guys, and bye.